And there we go guys, we are playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on our Android devices And we are getting more than 100 FPS Yo what's up guys, it's Aptrix here Today I'll be showing you guys how to play the original Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee game on your Android devices The method which I'll be showing you guys will be 100% legal, legit And here are the minimum requirements You need at least Snapdragon 660 processor Android device 4 to 6 GB of RAM and also Android version 10 or above If you meet these 3 requirements then I can give you guys guarantee that this game will 100% work on your android devices i'll be showing you guys the best settings so you get the best performance as well as minimal graphical issues with that being said if you guys are new here smash that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's begin all right guys let's get started through today's video for today we'll be using some nintendo switch emulators for android as it is the best way to play let's go pikachu on android you get to save your game state you also get to play the game on the go just like it was supposed to now let me tell you guys that we'll be using open source legal nintendo switch emulators for android which are available on play store for example we have the yuzu emulator we also got the eganess emulator and we have skyline emulator i'll be suggesting you guys the top three emulators for let's go pikachu on android on the number three spot we have yuzu emulator android Personally speaking, I wouldn't go with this emulator, at least on my device it doesn't work great at all with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. But if you guys want a stable gameplay experience with very less graphical issues, then I recommend you guys to go with Yuzu Emulator Android. But unfortunately, this emulator won't work on low-end Android devices, that's its only downside. So if you guys have a low-end Android device, my next suggestion would be the Agena Simulator Android, it has literally zero graphical issues as far as I have played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu on it and you get amazing performance so you don't have to worry about lag, stutter, frame drops or anything like that because Agena Simulator is very optimized but then again, I wouldn't recommend this simulator for people with low-end Android devices. You can use again a simulator only if you have a Snapdragon 7 uh, series processor or above and also Android version 12 or above. If you have a Mali GPU device, just stay away from again a simulator. It won't be worth it for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. But if you guys have a high-end or mid-range Android device, again is the best option because it provides the best graphic quality and also gameplay performance. But my number one pick for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu emulation on Android has has to be the Skyline Edge version 69. This emulator is the best for playing games like Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And as I was saying, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu works really great if you apply the best settings which I am about to show you guys. So let's get started, let me open settings. Now you will face some graphical issues here and there if you try to emulate Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu with the help of Skyline Edge emulator. But I am pretty sure that once the Strato emulator is released, you won't face any of these graphical issues. So first of all make sure to disable dock mode or else your game will not work. That's the first step. Make sure to enable show performance statistics and scroll down. Afterwards make sure to enable post triple buffering and disable frame throttling if you have a really high end android device and if you want to get over 100 fps yep that's what i'm talking about nintendo switch emulation with 1x resolution getting 100 fps is definitely possible with the help of skyline edge executor slot count scale will set it to 6 executor flush threshold is set to 207 We'll also disable the use direct memory import option. Also, force maximum GPU clocks pre guest texture memory have been enabled. Shader catch has been also enabled. Uh, disable shader catch option is unticked, which means shader catch is enabled. So, that's a great thing. Uh, enable fast GPU readback and writes have also been enabled. Now, if you guys want me to test Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu emulation on the latest Skyline Enhanced Infinity emulator, then let me know in the comment section down below. As you know, Skyline Enhanced Infinity is a fork version of both Skyline as well as upcoming Strato emulator. Anyways, I'll also recommend you guys to add a GPU driver. Uh, if you guys have an Adreno 6 series or 7 series GPU, make sure to use Mesa Turnip Adreno driver. This only works with Adreno 6 series or 7 series GPU, it doesn't work with Mali GPU. Now if you want to find out which Adreno series GPU your device has, uh, then you can try out CPUZ app. Inside that you will get to see uh, the specifications of your Android device. Anyways, a brand new Turnip driver was just released today which is the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver version 7 release by Kim Chi. Now it has the latest Vulkan drivers as well. So we'll just go back, we'll be using these graphical drivers and those were the best settings for playing 
Let's Go Pikachu game on your Android devices. Now the next step is to import the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu game itself on your Android device. For that you will need to dump your own copy of the game from your Nintendo Switch legally. That's what I'll recommend you guys make sure to dump the game from your Nintendo Switch and afterwards make sure to set up Skyline emulator on your Android devices. I think I have already made a video on Skyline setup which I'll put on the iCard above. Other than that once you follow all these steps you should be 100% fine to playing Let's Go Pikachu on your Android devices so let's just go ahead and tap on the play button now you can also add save files which is another tip uh, I want to tell you guys if you face any crashing issues when the beginning cutscene of the game then I recommend you guys to import and save data into Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu because after you import a save data your game will be much more stable. Alright guys there we go our game has successfully started at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting more than 100 FPS and if you enable dock mode then you won't be able to choose the controllers that's why I told you guys previously that you need to go to settings and make sure that dock mode has been disabled for example dock mode just got enabled as you saw dock mode was enabled on my android device now that we have disabled dock mode this game should work flawlessly on our android devices and this time you can see the loading was much quicker and we can now select the controls as well and there we go guys we are playing pokemon let's go pikachu on our android devices let's get started so we'll just go ahead and load our save file and i really apologize to you guys if you are hearing some background sounds that's because there is some function going on freak bro i can't even say but anyways as you guys can see at the top left corner we are getting 60 fps on pokemon let's go pikachu while emulating it on my android device my android device has snapdragon 8 gen 2 processors 16 gb of ram yep it is one plus 11 so as you guys can see i am playing pokemon let's go pikachu on my android device and we are getting more than 100 fps Immediately we see a increase in FPS and as I told you guys before 100 FPS Nintendo Switch emulation on Android is possible with the help of Skyline Edge emulator and you can also see the graphical issues are very minimal nothing to be worried about so as I told you guys before uh, even in battle scenarios my FPS is going way over 100 so it is pretty crazy guys 60 FPS is all the FPS that you need I am even unable to catch the Pokemon because the FPS is so high that uh, it takes a lot of delay from when I tap the button and when uh, the, the Pokeball is thrown. Anyways, we got ourselves a brand new Rattata. So we just met our rival. Let's see if we can battle with him and defeat him. Show him who's the boss, bro. Let's go, Gary. This is the first battle, I guess, with this save file. So that would be pretty interesting. He has PG. I have Pikachu. Obviously, we know which Pokemon is going to win. Uh, electric type has an advantage over flying type. So obviously, one hit kill for Pikachu. Let's just go ahead and see the next pokemon which he has he will send eevee we got like six pokemon so we are fine bro thundershock on eevee uh, and eevee is always faster because it has insane speed so i'm not really sure if my pikachu can defeat this eevee yep it can indeed defeat it guys there we go i think the speed of eevee as well as pikachu is tied that's why eevee went first uh, but then again for the next two rounds Pikachu went first so there we go guys that's Pokemon let's go Pikachu on our Android devices be sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you want to watch similar videos on my channel I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out